Howdy, I'm John at Gloryview Ranch. In, uh, in April, we had a filly born here on the ranch. We call her Gloria. She's absolutely delightful and adorable, and we love hanging out with her, and we give her all kinds of attention, which we're glad she really enjoys. She kind of leans in as we're scratching and rubbing on her, and she brings a fresh delight and energy to the ranch that is just really refreshing for us uh, as, as a family. Uh, she has this beautiful balance between this dependency upon mom, but this adventurous spirit and curiosity that she just wants to go with. And, and so when we turn them out in, in either a turnout or we've got this big round arena that we put them in, she just runs everywhere with all kinds of power and speed and grace, even though she's only about a month old. And, and uh, it's just beautiful to watch, but she's always paying attention to where mom is. And, and this, this dependency that she has on mom, and she kind of looks back and she'll go run around and then she'll come back to mom and check in like, okay, you're still here and, and then she goes out and runs around again and and it you can see that because she has this healthy amazing dependency in upon mom it's actually a freeing dependency like she knows she's secure she's got this secure place to be launched from and she goes and she adventures and she explores and then just every once in a while whoop, looks back make sure that mom is still there and and we love how that just even represents kind of our relationship with God. We, we want to have a similar balance, right? We want to have a dependency upon God, but not because that dependency upon God is something that boxes us in. No, that actually gives us this, this strength and this courage and this security to go adventuring out in the world and exploring. And, you know, we think about the fact that Jesus encouraged and taught and, and built into the 12, but then he sent them out and he has given us his spirit to send us out. And we just need to make sure that like glory checking in with mom we need to make sure that we're always keeping our eyes on jesus we're always checking in making sure we're not straying too far from his truth and and who he is and what he's about because he's the one that brings us that security so that we can have that kind of courage you know another way to think about it is is trees, right? We're, we're standing in the largest contiguous ponderosa pine forest in the world. And, and these amazing ponderosa pines, they have this strong center trunk, right? It's big and it's strong and it's tall and it reaches up to the sky. And from that, these branches, they grow out, right? They extend out away from the trunk and they reach out into the world so that it can produce, you know, the harvest of the pine cones and, and the, the needles and it brings in all the sunlight and everything. And as long as that, branch remains connected to the trunk, it has everything it needs to go out into the world to do its thing. In John chapter 15, verse 5, we are told by Jesus that he is the vine and we are the branches. And from him, we extend out into the world to love and to, to preach his gospel and to love on people and to draw people into him. But he also tells us that we have to stay connected to the vine because as long as we're connected to the vine, we can produce much fruit. But if we're apart from that, we die. We can't do anything. Just like if a branch falls off that trunk, it no longer is able to reach out in the world because it no longer has that source. And so we here at Glory View Ranch, we learn from our fillies, we learn from the trees that God has given us everything we need to go out into the world as long as we keep our attention upon him, stay connected to his vine, then an abundance of righteousness is our harvest.